Hello and welcome back to the Read Bunch. It is fall time and the great thing that I love about fall, number one is pumpkin carving. That's an awesome thing that we do in the Read House for fall time. Make sure you check out my video on pumpkin carving. But I also love wow. the, exactly. I also love the food changes. <laughs> It is pomegranate season. Woo -woo, love pomegranate. And I also love gourds. So I love butternut squash. I love buying the pie pumpkins and scraping out and <clears throat> cooking the flesh of the pumpkin and making pumpkin pie. Yes. Yep. And I also love what I'm going to be talking about today is spaghetti squash. Yes. Now, spaghetti squash is grown in the summertime, but it's really pubbed in the fall season. So, and I've learned a lot of people don't even know about spaghetti squash. If I'm, I've mentioned spaghetti squash on lots of occasions and people say, I don't even know what that is, girl. And I'm thinking to myself, let's do a video on spaghetti squash. So, what's up next is a quick way for you to prepare spaghetti squash. Oh yummy, 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 yummy. Now, I'm going to have on this ugly gray sweatshirt. Don't even judge me. I have a long day. But it's going down. Next. For this meal, you're only going to need a few items. Your spaghetti squash. Of course, I'm feeding a family of six, so I have more than one, uh, both for my garden. You need some chicken, frozen broccoli, and whatever sauce you choose to use. For this meal, I am using... Prego, roasted garlic, and parmesan. So the first thing you do is you cut your spaghetti squash lengthwise, and then you're gonna scoop out the seeds that are on the inside, kind of like you would with a pumpkin. the inside cavity with water and then place this part on top and put it in the microwave for 15 minutes while your squash is in the microwave your next step would be to cut strips of chicken so that we can uh, either you can bread them and fry them or I just like to saute mine with some olive oil and seasoning salt um, to get them ready to go into my Alfredo. So that's the next step. All right, so now what we're gonna do is add a little olive oil to the skillet, and then we're gonna add our chicken once the skillet gets hot enough and start to, you know, get some cooking action going. Chicken's only been cooking for about five minutes and it's almost done. We got our broccoli boiling. I've already seasoned it with salt and pepper. And we got about two minutes left on the spaghetti squash. We're going to go there. ahead and combine all the other ingredients. So I got my sauces going in the pot. And remember, this is for a family of six, so scale down however you need to. Gary. I, I never get to be in the videos. So. Well, you can be in the videos if you want to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. We got our chicken in there. Next is our broccoli. And Gavin, you can get in the pot. Hmm? Get in the pot. All right. So now we just got our chicken and our broccoli in the pot. And next, we're going to add our noodles when they're and done. These are your noodles right here. Okay. So that's what the inside of a spaghetti squash looks like. It looks like. Spaghetti noodles. That's why they call it a spaghetti squash. All right, so what I'll do is I just will scrape the rest of the inside, the flesh, away from the edge, and then I'm just going to dump it in the pot. And once I dump it in the pot, it's done. All right. All right, so these, these things are like super duper hot. And for the sake of time, uh, I want to go ahead and feed my family. So I'm just going to hold it with a... Uh, with this little towel and scoop out like this. You see how easy it flakes out? That's that's what you want. So if I had like lots of time, I would have made my own sauce. I would not have used a processed can of uh, Prego or Ragu or whatever it was. But for the sake of time, sometimes, you know, I, I have to sacrifice. And I tried to make 
as little sacrifices as possible because I want to make sure my family always eats the best and they don't have a lot of processed food in their diet. Uh, but you know, everything in moderation, really. So you can make this sauce with um, cream cheese and some Parmesan cheese and some other cheeses and mix it all up with a little milk until it became the right consistency. Uh, you can also do what I did and add the sauce, which of course is the quickest way. You can also put these, do the same process with the spaghetti squash, but put it in the oven for like an hour. And, and so you see like for the sake of time, it goes by quicker in the microwave. It doesn't harm the spaghetti squash cooking in the microwave. I know some people are like anti-microwave, but if you're not anti-microwave, just go ahead and put it in there nuke it it actually took 20 minutes for the two i think if i would have had one spaghetti squash in there it would have just took one but anyways i was able to cook up a vegetable and you see how long it's stored it's october and my squash was finished in like oh probably august late august uh, end of july and so they last for a very very long time um they say three to four months out make sure you don't put spaghetti squash in the refrigerator leave it out it's been in my pantry and it's done just fine and so now it's ready for the next step which is in my pot and this meal is done yummy serve it with some garlic bread and a salad and you are ready to go